So good afternoon, my name is Natalia and I'm currently the student of the junior year of the second high school in Poznan. I am right now in the first year of the IB program and I have my higher subject level, higher level subjects in maths, history and English. And if I say that, if I had to describe myself in one word, I would say that right now I'm quite I'm concentrating on like activistic things and I'm really into organizing different things and giving my peers possibility to develop in different ways. During this year, I have organized, for example, Poznań High School Mod Card. It was the uh, biggest mod card in Polish history for high school, high, school, high school students ever. And this basically was a sort of a simulation of the uh, card card for just for teenagers. And I believe that initiatives are like this are just giving young people possibilities to develop. For example, right now I am also working on the first edition of e-commerce. That is the first in Central European, Central and Eastern Europe uh, initiative that is like based on the idea of creating a startups for young people. And we believe that it's like going to give them possibility to, for example, meet with like one of the like most popular and one of the most well-known like CEOs and managers in Poland. Like for example, uh, people from Google for startups or for example, people from Bleak and by this we just try to give them possibilities that we didn't have when we were their age because this project like aims for people who are like between 15 and 17 years old. I'm also right now organizing the second edition of FedEx that's this meant to spread the ideas that are worth spreading and just like it's giving a lot of young people the possibility to speak up about issues that they think are important and the main idea of this year's edition is to really learn so for the again and again time, discovering things that we probably already know and are aware of. So for example, climate crisis, mental health, or just importance of sport, but just giving people possibility to see them from a little bit different perspective. In the future, I would like to pursue my career in law and I would like to like study abroad. I think mostly about Netherlands and the United States of America. And I think that right now you might have this sort of a question. Yeah, but why is she even here? So why is she speaking about law, organizing stuff? And the program is just like about the Silicon Valley going to Stanford for NASA and this like amazing research, research like initiative basis. So I think that even if we speak about technology, even if we speak about development, we also to some extent meet people who are going to be to who take to, who are going to take care about things like the legal side of this. And that's exactly the career that I would like to pursue in my life. Because I really dream about working in a company that I could just like help like finish my law degree and then work there as a like lawyer of this company or just work in a legal firm but mostly concentrating on the clients related to technology and like things that are actually like developed in the Silicon Valley. Because we believe that the like main function of law is actually to match the development that we are at some point. And by this, just like giving people who are in those spaces possibility to develop. And I think it is really difficult to change the world, for example, like by doing startups, by like, like developing, doing things in NASA and so on, when you do not have the like a legal basis for this and you not have somebody who takes care for this. And the last question that I wanted to answer in this like presentation is why you should, but like why should I go to the Queen uh, to this like scholarship and why I believe that something really benefit could be very beneficial for me. Firstly, I just think it is a really great networking option. Both firstly from like for ability to meet other people who would be chosen for such a scholarship, which might have a possibility to spec spend the one week in the United States, but also possibility to network and meet people from the like from the United States who are working in, for example, in the NASA and some university and so on. And I think it is really great option to be possibility to have a possibility to talk for, with such a people, see what was their way to the place that they are right now and be able to see what steps they took and how they actually got to the place that they are right now. Secondly, as I dream about studying in the United States of America, for me, this, this like scholarship would give a possibility to actually fill the atmosphere of the American university, see the, that's all the culture there and by this like be able to experience all of this and I also think that it would just give me a lot of motivation to like keep being involved to keep applying to universities scholarships and so on and I expect this to develop and thirdly I just believe that it's a really great option for us to have a possibility to see how those like things like NASA Stanford University or for example this like research institute with, in, within the Stanford University function and it is like a really unique possibility to actually see how they are organized nice who works there what types of skills are needed to be able to work in such a places so all in all i just believe that this scholarship is the perfect way for me to be able to fulfill my further dreams and to be able to like develop as a person student and uh and like let's say hopefully future lawyer and that's all thank you 
Thank you, Natalia. Great time management. So thanks for that. So now we will start uh, our questions and I will start with Mr. Tomas. Yeah, thanks, Natalia, for your presentation. Um, I wanted to ask you a question about uh, debating. Uh, you mentioned in your motivation letter that uh, you support uh, other people to, to grow their skills uh, in, in, in debating. So I, I wonder what is the most difficult for you in, in teaching others uh, to properly debate and why? Um, so I think that's actually like debating and teaching other people about debating has like a few things in common because I think in both things you just need to have some sort of a clarity when you're speaking and I think you just need this sort of clarity to also like spread knowledge to others and in the very beginning when I started like doing workshops in schools and like organizing workshops for others and so on the really like difficulty that I had was just to let's say in some way explain to people the way I think with like having some sort of experience in debating, like doing a lot of motions and so on, and just being able to explain this to them in a way that will be just much more clear for them and will actually like give them some sort of a benefit and just allow them to grow on that. So I would just say that the biggest difficulty is just being able to actually explain what you have in mind when you are talking to people with different sort of backgrounds and like experiences. Okay, thank you. Um, and the, the second question, what do you find annoying in yourself and how, how do you fight with such a weakness? Um, so I am terrible in saying no. I mean, in saying that I have not enough time to do a certain thing or just to involve in a certain project or just help somebody. But right now I'm just starting like to planning my life in a little bit more way and just like taking into account how much hours would certain things take for me and just also like plan some sort of the like things that I should do in my life. So for example, have like enough hours of sleep, have some time with my family, some time with my friends, Friends. and just like I'm trying to take an account all things they have to do before I accept any sort of the like assignment any sort of the things that somebody asked me to do or something okay thank you very much thank you professor Koshevsky. thank you very much uh Natalia what is your biggest passion um, I would say that my biggest passion is debating as I am involved in this for something like three years in general, but in a like more active way for something one, one and a half year. And like, I'm actually spending something like 10 to 15 hours per week on this because I participate in different types of workshops. I am also like doing some like things on my own. For example, like I participate in tournaments. I am doing some sort of like homework, let's say. And it is just something that's given me so many possibilities because for example, I met a lot of like my best friends when I was debating. I also like learned a lot of things about the world because like, for example, when I got the motion, I, I knew nothing about this. It, it basically like forced me to read about this and like, just learn about so many like different things, for example, in terms of international relations. And just by this, I like grow so much. And that's, I think the main reason why I really enjoy debating. And it's like something that no matter that I am sometimes tired of having like six consecutive uh -huh. weekends. Just, just a question. Can I ask a question? With, with whom you are debating? Um, uh, so because I imagine it's very difficult to find someone uh, mm -hmm. who is able to debate with you. Uh, at least two parts needed for a debate. Uh, so, um, in general, like um, I am participating mostly in tournaments in which you're debating with partner or with a team. So, basically, in like my in world schools format, I am participating with other people who are in the national team and the British parliamentary format. I'm like debating with my best friend and like. I am debating mostly against people who are like other people from other like universe, people from other like national teams from other countries or from people who are currently in the university. And just like there are quite a lot of people who are debating in Poland. So it's like not a problem to find people to debate against. Okay, thank you very much. Natalia, how did you prepare for this presentation? If you could just tell us briefly, how did you prepare for the presentation for this uh, for this meeting? Mm, so I basically like just like as I was writing my motivation letter I just visited your website I have read a little bit about the program and then I just thought about what are the like things that I like in myself and what are the things that I'm a little bit like say proud of myself and just I think that the like best way to prepare for such a meeting is just to be yourself because like there's basically like no sense in like acting like somebody that I am not and even like even in the best case getting the scholarship but actually like not let's say like being a good candidate for this and just I believe that like showing you my real self is the best way to actually like allow you to find the best candidates for this and just like 
let's say in the best case I get this. Okay, thanks. And you 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 say about the being proud so i would like to ask what is the project or event from your life that you are really proud of and why um, so i think that i am mostly proud of this uh, poznan high school mod group because it was the biggest event that i organized and it was also the event that i organized like with two of my friends and it was like quite a big event to organize for, for three people and we also it was even it was free for, for all the participants and it was like something really important for us to make this available for as many people as possible from different backgrounds and so on so we spent quite a lot of time by collecting money from sponsors by just calling to many many different firms and people just to get this money and it was like something that taught me a lot as well because i think that when there were like quite a lot of things to do and quite a lot of like steps to go through and i'm really really proud of myself that i was able to like organize this in a quite well manner and that it actually happened okay thanks very much and now it's time for a little bit of feedback for you uh so i will start with mr tomas Yes, uh, Natalia, I think at the beginning what I had an impression that you wanted to kind of flood with us, uh, with, with the information, that the pace of your presentation was extremely intense. But then when, when we moved to the Q&A session, it seemed like that it's you, it's very natural that, you, you, that your pace of, of, of talking is quite, uh, quite in, in, intense and it's okay. I think what, what you, uh, my, my advice to you uh, from that perspective would be to, to remember to accommodate the pace of your presentation and the speech to, 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 to someone who, who, who is uh, listening to yourself. So not always the, the, the intense speed is uh, the, the best option. So the, the, this would be the, the feedback number one. And then feedback number two would be, uh, I know that this is online meeting. I know that this is difficult to, to keep an, a, an eye contact, but I think that this is something which you can uh, try to, to, to work on in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Professor Koszewski, your feedback. Thank you. Uh, Natalia, you're a great person. Uh, and I have no doubt uh, you are going to be successful uh, in your life. Uh, listen to others, because when you are important, when you are already successful, others will need your, your help, your assistance. Uh, so sometimes it's better to listen more than, than, than to talk. Um, and, and sharing with others, certainly. So that, that would be my advice. Thank you. And I will follow that, Natalia. I think you are great. It was amazing, a great energy, spirit, and you know that yourself uh, it was, was absolutely great. But be a good listener. It's a great practice. It's not something that, you know, uh, you, 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 you just got. It, it can be practiced. So practice like a good listening of others. And uh, as uh, Professor Koszewski said, you are already successful. So it was great presentation and, and thank you very much, Natalia. Natalio, jutro, jutro otrzymasz od nas wyniki. Także bardzo Ci dziękujemy za tą prezentację. Bardzo dziękujemy. Dziękuję bardzo. Do widzenia. Do widzenia. Do widzenia.